I often hear that our cultural background is something that we don't share with our friends or our partners from other countries and that this can become a great problem, a great barrier between two people in communication and in relationship. And is that really so? Um, my friends and my relatives often ask me about that, so I decided to think a bit more about that. I agree that it's really difficult to understand another culture fully, especially when you don't know the language and even if you know the language, it's still quite a complicated matter uh, with the culture. And to be honest, I think that it's not that important to understand all the cultural traits. It's for sure better to know the basics, to know uh, some films, some literature pieces that are popular in the country and that are well known by people who live in this country and maybe some folklore and religion matters if they're important to people. But to be honest, to understand it deeply, fully, all the issues is probably not that important because we anyway in our globalized world share a lot of things with our friends and partners from different countries. But it's always nice to get to know some of the most important features. So I decided to make at least this video, maybe later some more, to explain some cultural features that can be interesting for foreigners. And where to start? Culture is just the word that includes so many things. And even though I'm speaking here more about the mass culture, there are still so many things that can be included into this mass culture. And I decided then just to start from the character that came first to my mind. And I guess if you ask Russian people, this will be, this will be the character that comes to mind to a lot of people as the first one. And this is a very famous cartoon character. Uh, it's the symbol of the Russian Olympic team and his image is very common on the souvenirs from Russia. I guess you can already tell uh, about whom I'm going to tell you. And even if you don't know his name, probably you can imagine how he looks like. Actually, it's not him. It's not he. Um, it's more like it. It's a creature. I just guess I will continue talking about him uh, as uh, um, he, him, masculine, because it's masculine in Russian and when I think about him, it's just this image in my head. Let's crack on. This creature of unknown origin was found in the box with oranges just by the store manager and when he found this creature into the, in, in, in this box, he takes it, him, out of the box and stands him on the table. But the creature cannot stand properly and he falls down and then he falls into the chair and from the chair onto the floor and when he tries to stand again, he's falling again. I didn't know exactly how to tell the story from the beginning so that you understand it. So I just looked that up in Wikipedia and it says that probably that's because the pose of the creature were numb because he was staying too long in this box with oranges. He was transported from some jungle or something. Um, and then when he, the store manager just tries to stand the, the creature, um, he just tumbles all the time. He just tumbles down. Um, and then the Russian colloquialism, the Wikipedia says that, I also didn't know that, the Russian colloquialism for tumble down is chiburachnutsa. That's a really fun word still for me. And it is the word, just let's, let's keep with it. Chiburachnutsa is to tumble down. And then the creature got the name, chiburashka, so tumbled. Oh yeah, and Wikipedia also says that that was first um, a book and then a cartoon. But that's like for many cartoons and films, I guess. It's just that I don't remember books, maybe I haven't read them, but for sure everybody um, saw this cartoon. It's the series of cartoons. And in some minutes I will tell you a bit more about this story because there are more characters that are famous from this story and that probably are worth to know about. But first I want to tell why is then this is so important for our culture and for our mass culture. Uh, especially if you're learning a language and you're going to talk with Russian people, you can hear people say this word, Chiburachnutsa. And this is really now um, the strong association with this character. And uh, it's just that there are a lot of jokes uh, about him and 
they're quite common. I don't know if there are still now a lot of people telling these jokes, but for sure when I was a child uh, there were a lot of them and I guess you can hear them also nowadays. And the thing is, it's just a really nice story, really about uh, kindness and friendship and uh, there are also a well-known song from this uh, cartoon that a lot of children, uh, a lot of just people in general know. And this is about a uh, birthday and uh, so I think that in the kindergartens uh, the, and in schools sometimes this song is played instead of the traditional happy birthday to you though we also sing this song both in English and in Russian but this song is also very popular <laughs> День рождения только раз в году. You probably already saw on the uh, videos that I showed you that there are more characters. And another character, the best friend of Chiburashka, is Gena. Gena the crocodile. In Russian, Krokodil Gena. So Gena the crocodile uh, is the creature, the crocodile uh, that found uh, Chiburashka and they became friends and then there are a lot of stories that are happening to them and all those stories they are teaching you, teaching the child, um, the grown-up as well if you're watching that for the first time, uh, how to be kind, how to be friends with other people and uh, how to build relationship really. And there are some really very touching um, moments in the cartoon that I remember and I think I'm still crying when I'm watching those. And I just think in general in those uh, Soviet time um, movies, cartoons, there were a lot of things that were really, really touching. One more character that is important in the story is the old lady. And the name of the old lady, that sounds really funny to the Russian ear, is Shapakliak. And this word, this I also got to know from Wikipedia, is meaning the, um, this is the kind of old-fashioned hat uh, and that comes from the French word. So if you know French, maybe you can guess the word. I will put it here, I cannot read French. Um, and Chapaclac is a William in the story and uh, she has got uh, this strange looking hat on her head and then she has a purse and there is a pet in the purse. And that's not the dog, that's not the cat. That's the rat. So this is how uh, at that Soviet time um, the creator saw the pet of the William, the rat. And I think this is really funny. And um, th this old lady, I will show you um, how she looks. She looks just really, really like <laughs> an unusual William, um, at least in um, our days. Uh, she always is mean to all the characters and especially to Chiburashka and Gena and she plays tricks on them but uh, this I told you the cartoon is created and the story itself is created to teach something and at the end she also becomes a good one and we get to know why she's so mean and uh, we also get to know that she hasn't finished the secondary education and that um, in fact, she wants to learn and she goes to school together with Chiburashka so that they can learn how to read and to write. Um, I think it's still, though it's quite old, it's really inspiring for children and I don't know if that will be so interesting for children in our days to watch something like this because there are um, no special effects and um, the picture itself is old-fashioned. but. I still think it's really, really a nice story. And if you know Russian or if you're learning Russian and you can watch the cartoon, I think this is what is the best thing to do. I just want to mention that I really enjoy, I already told that it's it's teaching you a lot of nice things, but um, one episode when they are building the house of friendship. <laughs> It's 
first it's obvious you learn how to be friends and what is friendship but also that's a difficult work that they are doing and that's teaching you that you should be hard working to achieve something and um, I, I mentioned the Chapaclac and um, the characters they forgive her at the end and that teaches you to forgive people if they even were not nice for you in many cases and I already mentioned that there are a lot of jokes about Tiburashka and Gena and nowadays they are not so well spread I guess there is no internet and access to internet for all the children and they find a lot of things to do there but I remember when um, I was um, I don't know in elementary school it was really a lot of fun to tell the small jokes anecdotes about uh, Shiburashka and Gena and I think there are some of them that are still popular and you can use them in some situations in everyday life and there are some that I really like and I think I use them myself every now and then um, and I want to share them with you. The thing is it's difficult to share jokes uh, in another language you probably know that and uh, I anyway want to try. The thing is that uh, Gena is seen in the story as more mature character like a grown-up um, creature person and uh, Tiburashka is more like childish and naive and many stories many small jokes are connected with uh, that. Uh, you remember I told you in the beginning that Tiburashka was found in the box with oranges and I think he also ate um, some of the oranges or all of the oranges from the box and uh, the small joke is um, Tiburashka is coming to Gena and saying uh, Gena somebody sent us um, oranges um, somebody sent us 10 oranges, 8 for you and 8 for me. And Gena is like, that cannot work. Uh, it cannot be 10 oranges, 8 for you, 8 for me. And Chiburashka is just like, I don't know anything, I already add my 8. So <laughs> he obviously two are left for Gena. And this um, joke uh, may sound not that funny, but it's used as a reference many times in everyday life uh, when people are talking about somebody add more than a half or add everything. Um, so my dad, for example, can say, yeah, I already add my eight, just referring to the joke, not telling the whole one. And one more joke that I really like is the short one. And this is just Tubrashka is sitting on the railway and then Gena is coming and saying, move over, I will also sit. And the thing that I like here is that it's really a short one, uh, but illustrates how people behave many times in everyday life. When there is a lot of plays or a lot of something, but they still want to fight um, with other people and they want exactly the same place as um, the other one is standing on, sitting on, literally or not and I remember my mom using this um, a lot especially when I was a child with my brother and when we could not share something and we want particularly the thing that other one had she always told us this uh, short lines and how so that we understand how bizarre that actually is to to do something like this and I heard Tiburashka being called the Russian Mickey Mouse of the Soviet Union Mickey Mouse and many times uh, in some magazines and newspapers from other countries and also here in Russia and I guess the main similarity is that they're just really popular and they became like the heroes of the country, the heroes of the era and uh, um, I don't think that there are many more similarities here but I saw this um, article in the internet um, mentioning that Chiburashka is known not only in Russia but in some other countries and uh, they made the, the in the Photoshop or some other kind of program uh, the pictures that featured Chiburashka if he would take part in some Hollywood um, cartoons and movies and uh, I think they're the nice pictures uh, so I will uh, share them with you and the link to the article is below. That's it, I hope you enjoyed the video and I would love to know if you know who is Chiburashka and if you like this character, this cartoon or not in the comment section and uh, see you soon!